All right, Shalom, Mike. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect and the teachers' word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson. He have no pleasure in fools. And yeah, and the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahusha, don't have pleasure in fools. Actually, He only loves none. But him and dwell with wills. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Because the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, actually, when he bestowed this knowledge upon us, now we see firsthand why the Lord hates simple niggas, man. You know? So let's get this real quick. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28. It says, For the most high love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. See? Only ones that got, that uh, pretty much. Is, is equipped with wisdom. That's who the Lord loves, man. The Lord don't love no simple nigga, man. You know? And we see firsthand why uh, the Lord got to destroy them, man. They just pretty much got to be put out their misery, man. Because we actually, at the height of knowledge, we actually, at this point in time that we are at this appointed time where this word is on display in its fullness, man. You know, the whole role is actually is at your disposal, man. But you got guys uh, that are simple and, and, is, and is rejecting this um, this wise counsel, man. But that's also the spiritual battle within itself because when, when the Lord made the wise, he also made fools, man. You know, that's why you read the, the book, the different uh, sayings of Solomon. He say the wise man this, but the foolish man that. Or he say the foolish man this and, and the wise man that. Why is that? Because that's the balance. That's the opposition of force. When you got this, um, th this wisdom on, at its height, you know, you're gonna have uh, that 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 opposition of force, which is that the foolish man coming against you, man. But like I said, is the Lord showed us firsthand why He hate simple niggas? Why? Because we the one that is playing this knowledge, and you got simpletons coming against him, man. So that's why you get this scripture right here. You got this scripture right here. This is uh Sirach 27. <coughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at uh, 11. It said the the discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. See, it's nothing about vain opinion. You know, I'm gonna always revert to the scriptures. You know, yeah, we talk about bullshit here and now, but our main uh speech uh, conversation. Is what? Is, is, is with this wisdom, this knowledge, man, that we have, man. It said, but a fool change of as the moon. It said, if thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time. See? So you got to observe the time when you be around the, the simples, man. The simple niggas, man. The indiscreet, man. You know, even though we have to be around the people. Yeah, you know I mean, we had to coexist. But it says, continue on, it says, but be continually among men of understanding, see, among this wise counsel, this congregation, man. Matter of fact, let me get some real quick. <coughs> it said, but be continually among men of understanding, the second edge was eight, and uh, I think it's like 52, 51. It says, but understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee, see. That why scripture said every beast love his like, you know, uh, he's gonna he's gonna all flesh consort of according to kind. Meaning what we are we we sort ourselves uh, in that category that's that's fitting to us, which is what the men of understanding, man, you know. So let's let's continue on the back of Sirach twenty seven. Sirach twenty seven. And um, in thirteen, it said the discourse of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin. So the this this discourse of fools is irksome. So I got this word irksome lined up. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the word irksome. It says tending to irk, tedious. See, it's very tedious to talk to a fool, man. Especially when it comes down, really, it, it really it all goes down really to the scriptures. When it comes down to the scriptures, man, 
that's how you know who a fool really is, man. Uh, on his outlook on things, you know, his will, his 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 walk, you know. When this man open his mouth, you can tell who this guy is, man. Yeah, I mean, that's why I said he's gonna a man is gonna be known um, by his countenance, man. You know, by his speech, you know. But when it comes down to the scriptures, that's when that fool come out, man. So it says tedious, you know. And this is some of the <coughs> the um, synonyms. It says abrasive, aggravating. See, annoying. See, it's very annoying. Cause you can't get through a, a simple man, a simple person head, man, through that thick skull of theirs, man. You know the Lord actually blinded them, so it's actually annoying. Why? Cause you 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 make a point, you know, or uh, you got the scripture. Well, the scripture makes the point, and 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 you got the precept, the bad, that precept, the bad, that precept, the, the two or three witnesses, and they come with some off the wall stuff, man. That's very annoying. You know, it says bothersome, carking, chaffing, disturbing. See, it's very disturbing and it's scary. Why? Because the Lord set it up with these scriptures as plain as day, man. You know, matter of fact, <clears throat> I think that's a rock 39. It's disturbing, man. Because it's like, damn, don't, can you see this? When we say like the so-called white man is the devil and you trying your best to, to get this man you know, like this man is the is he's not the devil. That's disturbing, man. All this all these things he have done unto you and you saying that he's not the devil, he's not your enemy. You know? Uh so this is Surah thirty nine and twenty four. It says As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked, see? The ways what these scriptures are plain unto us, man. You know? When we see arrows, when you read arrows in the scriptures, hey, hey, we can see that that's talking about the thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, when it said that red dragon, we say that's the so-called, we see that's the so-called white man. It's plain as day. What else could it be talking about? That's why Job 9, 20, 9 and 24 said, if not, where and who is he? Job know, like, look, man, it all boils down to this. If it's not this guy, if, it, if it's not the devil, who else could it be, man? <clears throat> You know, that's just like a nigga arguing with you, uh, saying one plus one is three. He he got a he got a whole formula showing you that one plus one is three. You know what I mean? That's that's very disturbing, man. You know, that's very that 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 right there is that's what vests your soul, man. Because you know you get the truth. We know the truth through the spirit and fire y'all by some y'all shot, but they trying to show you that that equals three, man, but we know it's two, man. You know? <clears throat> so let's go back to this word. <clears throat> so like it. It says um exasperating, frustrating, see? It's very frustrating to have a discourse with a fool. Why? Because they number one, they are they are um they hard headed, you know. But the Lord made our heads hard as well. And righteousness, man. You know? And I and our heads let's say we do bump heads, guess what? Our heads is harder than their heads, so guess what? Our face is gonna break that face. And going back to that face. Is that it's really that knowledge, man? You know, no. I said whoever falls on this, uh, this stone is gonna be um, broken in silver. Meaning what? You come at us, you are gonna be broken down. What I said, whoever that star fall on, you gonna be being the powder. Meaning what? When we if we come at you, that there's no, uh, yeah, you know I mean, ain't no fight. Ain't gonna be no fighting you, man. Through the spirit, man. We're gonna give you a spiritual ass whooping, man. You know. It says frustrating, galling, irritating, maddening. See, nettlesome. Let's see, pesky. Um, <clears throat> vex, vexatious. See, vexing. See, it's very vexing to talk with a fool, man. You know, they're just like you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, like the Apostle Ha said, he made that. It was a bad analogy. You playing basketball with somebody that don't know how to play basketball, man. You know, the guy traveling, you know, he throwing the basketball in the hoop like it's a football, you know. All that, man. You, you can't play with nobody like that, man. That's very vexing, man. That's why you don't, you can't have discourse with a fool, man. You can't really go over the scriptures with a fool, man. You ain't going to get nowhere. Doesn't matter of fact, I, matter of fact, since I said that, this is Proverbs 17. 
and uh and ten. It says a reproof into a more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. See? So you can reprove a wise man saying, you know what, that's that's not talking about that scripture ain't talking about that, it's talking about this. And you know what? He'd be like, you know what? Okay, I get what you're saying. Now that is right. You know, but it said it entered more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. And like the brother Point of Wah, you know, there's a bad saying, you know, um, uh, it's like being a dead horse, you ain't gonna get no what, man. You know, a hundred strikes, you hit you hit somebody a hundred times, you know, they're gonna learn then, you know. But when it comes down to a fool, it's not he's not gonna get <coughs> he's not gonna <coughs> it's like you. He's not gonna get no one, man. You can break it down to him, you can get all these precepts and you might get some in the etymology and all that, but guess what? It ain't gonna go nowhere, man. It ain't gonna go nowhere. You know? As a matter of fact, let's see, um But like I said earlier, the Lord showed us firsthand why he hate fools, man. Why he despised fools, man. You know? Cause we don't want that uh that putting the word on display. <coughs> you got guys that wait to to the video, come up and critique it like they got some type of uh knowledge. But when you go to their page, man, they ain't got nothing to say, man. You might have some Erica Badu videos, you know, uh 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 um how to how to make incense. You ain't you ain't going nowhere, bro. You know? So this is uh Sarah twenty two and thirteen it said talk not much with a fool and go not to him that have no understanding. See? And this is why we don't go to you niggas, man. <clears throat> That's why they always come to us, man. Why? Because this is where knowledge is on display, man. You know, this is where that light at. That's why you got all the little bugs is drawn to the light. Yeah, you know I mean, and then when they get too close, they get out, man. You know, it says, "Beware of him, lest thou have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries." See, and when it say, "Lest thou have trouble," meaning what? He's gonna constantly annoy you. He's gonna constantly come with bugged out statements. <clears throat> you know, asking, you know, asking crazy questions. I just come with a crazy philosophy. Would tell me about the. The South Africans and yeah, it's some crazy shit, man. It says, "Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness." See, <clears throat> so you depart from him, you're gonna find rest. Cause you, hey, you ain't gonna lose no sleep dealing with no no fool, man. Lord said, "I'm from above, and you from beneath." That's why Scripture said, "Also, wisdom is too high for a fool." We that would that would separate, you know. Y'all was shot for them, uh, for the rest, them Pharisees and Sadducees, man. Really, Arab, you know, Yahusha had the 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 daddy without had the, the wisdom without measurement. That's why I said I'm from above and you from me beneath. That was separated, you know, was that wisdom. That's why I said wisdom is too high for a fool. He said wisdom is too far off, uh, is on this side, uh, and on that side, no, it says too high, man. So this wisdom is what what puts you on level. This wisdom is what separates you, man. You know. So you. So like you, this wisdom is what separates you, man. You know. He said, "What is heavier than lead, and what is the name thereof but a fool?" He said, "Sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding." So yeah, you can have, you can carry sand bags all day or iron. That's easier to bear. It's, it's, it's better to do physical labor, hard physical labor, than to talk to a simple nigga, man. It's better to do hard physical labor than to talk to a simple nigga, man. And the Lord just, just simplified for you, man. But we see that firsthand. You know? The Lord actually showing us firsthand why he hate, uh, he had no pleasure in fools, man. You know? <clears throat> let's see, uh, let's get something else. Uh, bear with me. <clears throat> See if I can find this real quick. I think it's around fourteen. I think I jumped up too. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, yeah, kind. This is um, 
so um so like a proverb fourteen and seven it said, Go from the presence of a foolish man, see, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge, see. When you that why I said that why I said a man shall be known by his countenance, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. <clears throat> I think it's a rock. I know it's in Sirach. Let's see. Yep, this is Sirach. 19 and uh, 29. It said, A man may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance, when thou meetest him. See, a man is going to be known by his look, meaning what? What, what he portrays. You know, <clears throat> you know, what his, um, his reflection of his mind. You know, his, his different outlook on things, you know, uh, uh, they're dealing with certain um, uh, topics, you know. <clears throat> That's how you're going to know a man by his countenance, man. I said, one to have understanding by his countenance. He, he ain't going to look at somebody, he got glasses. He said, you know what, this guy is smart. No, man. More bites wear uh, glasses, you know, but they, 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 they're they uh, naturally retarded, man. You know, they got a, a form of a Down syndrome. They got mongoloidism. But but that's how that's how you know this place is turned upside down because these these people are uh, known as the so-called uh, smart, you know, mathematicians. You got more by set up as mathematicians, man. But they are actually retarded. They are actually, you know, uh, got, got mongoloidism. That's why they look like that. But the point is, you can't look at nobody and say, you know what, that guy's smart. No, you got to actually wait till he open his mouth and, and see what he speaks, man. That's why I said, when Frank go away from a fool when you, when he open his mouth, man. And ain't no understanding his mouth, man. You know? <clears throat> so let's get this. Let's go on and end it off on this, Akim. Ecclesiastes, um, I think it's five. Yeah, Ecclesiastes five. I'm going to start at one. It says, um, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the Most High. And be more ready to hear, see? And and, and it's not, it's, it's actually when you come across really the prophets, man. Meaning what, keep your mouth closed when you come across the prophets, man. Now I said, be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, see? Meaning what, you actually going to end up being shown that you don't know nothing at all, man. Now I said, the man act like he, he is something, he's nothing, you know? That's why the Lord also said you got to um, command as newborn babes. You, newborn babes, you actually, you got to give up everything that you thought you knew, man. You know, we as you has, actually have to be retaught, man. You didn't wake up, you didn't, you wasn't born, and then now you eat a bowl of cereal. Now you know how to put your own clothes on. No, man, you had to, you know how to tie your own shoes. You actually have to be taught everything that you're doing now. Everything that you're doing now, you know, walking and talking. You know, in everything, your everyday life that you do, guess what? You was taught doing that, man. You know, how much more when it come down to these scriptures, man? Yeah, you know I mean, it says, for they consider not that they do evil. See, they don't consider that they are uh, talking to the vessels who the Lord chose to portray his word. That's why I said, be not rash with thy mouth and let not thy heart to be hasty to utter anything before the most high. See, matter of fact. See, that's why I say you got to just <clears throat> chill out, man. Why? Because the Lord, hey, he cuss you out through us, man. Yeah, you know I mean? So let's see. Um, <clears throat> Let me get to the point. This is, um, matter of fact, I, I started 27. Proverbs 17, 27. He that have knowledge spare of his word. See? And a man of understanding is an excellent is of an excellent spirit. See, so it said, "Be not rash thy mouth." You got you got any type of knowledge or any type of senses when these scriptures come out and it's being broken down with authority. You're going to spread your words. Your words is you. You're going to have a few words. If anything, you might have a question. You know, but just making a statement, say, you know what, you off on that, <clears throat> but you don't have no type of. Uh, uh, <clears throat> No, no, no lessons of what you're doing. Uh, no uh, um, proof that you're breaking it down the right way. 
You just waiting till somebody say something so you can critique it and say, you know what, that's not right. You're going to tell me what it's not, but you ain't going to tell me what it is. You know? <clears throat> it says, even a fool, see? When he holds his peace, he is counted wise. <laughs> see? Even a fool is, is, is considered wise if he shut his mouth. It says, and he that shut of his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. See? So let's go back to uh, Ecclesiastes 5. And two again said, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth, therefore let thy words be few. See? So it's really when you come across the prophets, man, and the prophets bringing these scriptures out in, 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 in his pureness, and it's being broken down with authority, you should know then, like, hey, this is all the Lord, man. You know? It says, For a dream coming through the multitude of business, but a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. See, so you know who a fool is by the what what his speech his speech. You can't just actually look at somebody and say, you know what, that guy's he's on or something, you know. You know, that guy's smart. Uh, that that guy's dumb. No, you're gonna wait actually wait till somebody when they say something, what comes out of their mouth, that's how you know if he's a fool or not. And that's why it, 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 words are very powerful, man. That's why Yahweh Shah said, um, every idle word that you shall speak. You know, it's all about words. It's about what you say, man. That's why I said um, we was blameless for the throne of Most High because why it was no guile found our mouth, man. But the things that we was teaching and speaking, you know, guess what? It was true, man. It, it, you know what I mean? It wasn't like we on some, some BS. You know, it was no deceit in our mouth. <clears throat> and it tells you that the... Um, um. Uh, the fools they speak of deceit, man. You know. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, verse four. It says, "When thou vows a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it, for he have no pleasure in fools. Pay thou which thou hast vowed." See, but the, the point is that the Lord he have no pleasure in fools, and we don't either, man. That's a very uh, uh <clears throat> frustrating thing is try to deal with a fool, man. That, that, that's one of the worst things the Lord hate is a simple nigga, man. And why, since he hated knowledge, you also re reject knowledge. I'm going to reject you, man. You know? You want to get rid of a nigga, you, you don't want a nigga to find out about something, put it in a book, man. You know, anything that's um, dealing with knowledge and understanding, that's that's like the spiritual roast spray from a nigga, man. And 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 you bring it on display. That's how you bring. That's how a fool is being found out when he so called critique. Yeah, you know I mean, what you say, man, or really what the scriptures say, <laughs> you know. But the point is that the Lord he had no pleasure in fools, and now we see firsthand why the Lord had no pleasure in fools. And guess what? We have no pleasure in fools, man. You know. So yeah, I can hold it with edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to you, by some outside, by some dash. Double honors to the positive elders, great millstone. Shalom to the elected Caesar and all true faith and charity. DTA, abide the ball.